proposed by Mr. Caputo. Mr. Caputo, you have the floor. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I've aged a little bit, maybe grown a bit of a beard since we started this meeting. Um, you know, as common sense conservatives, we're, we're always wanting to get at the truth. We're always prepared to have people come to committee, whether they be uh, advisors within our own party or uh, people who like Mark Carney are advising the, the Liberal government. At the end of the day, we have to remember that this is somebody who not only is advising the Prime Minister, this is somebody who wants to be the Prime Minister. So it's a bit disingenuous for the Liberals to compare apples to oranges and say, well, we want this person, we want this person, and they should all come here. That's not conservative logic. Conservatives have no problem with bringing people uh, who have something to say and something to offer the, to the debate. At the end of the day, it's my view that uh, people like Mr. Carney should be here. Um, he wants to become Prime Minister someday. That's his prerogative. He wants to advise the Liberal government and be the de facto finance minister. That's his prerogative. But at the end of the day, it's my view that he is in multiple conflicts of interest not even apparent conflicts of interest. He's in multiple conflicts of interest. Let's bring him here to the committee. We have nothing to hide as Point of order, Mr. Chair. So, oh, I was almost done, but...